So I had so much fun doing this last week. I say, screw it. Why not do it again, right? Let's go ahead and answer some questions from the Ask FM. Ask.fm slash Geekdom101. We're chilling here on Sunday and um, just relaxing here, answering some Dragon Ball questions for you guys. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do this weekly. I'm considering it, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, but if this video is well received, then I probably will do it weekly. Um, because I like answering questions. I really do. Uh, and even if, uh, you know, no matter what the question is, we can always have fun with it. So let's go ahead and just get right into these questions. Um, <coughs> first one here. So considering Cell is comprised of mainly Saiyan DNA, and he can do all the techniques, even the spirit bomb, so he says, and has a tail, do you think he could have inherited some kind of transformation if he looked at the moon or had Bulma's Bloops Waves Amplifier, maybe a giant bug or Godzilla, LOL? A great, great question. That is a great question, and it really is one of those things that's up to your perception of the character and how strong he actually could have gotten. Because he does have a tail, but he does not have a Saiyan tail. But he does have Saiyan DNA, so that's really the the whole measuring stick there. Is his tail representative of what a Saiyan's tail is? I would say no, because he can do different things with his tail. Saiyans can look at the moon and turn to a great ape. He um, absorbs people. You know what I'm saying? So it's difficult for me to give you an answer. Now that being said, with the Blutes Waves amplifier, that actually makes a lot more sense. I could totally see that happening. You know, it's just like how in future. Dragon Ball storylines, we saw Golden Frieza. I did a video a long time ago about the possibility of a Golden Cell. It's the same thing, you know. Uh, theoretically speaking, had Cell trained lo as long as Frieza did, he could have tapped into Golden Frieza or Golden Cell or whatever, theoretically. But perhaps he didn't have enough of Frieza's cells to do that. That could also be a possibility. Remember, there's a lot of things in Dragon Ball about like spirits and souls. And even though Cell did have copied DNA from these fighters, he wasn't them, and until you're them, you're not you're not really gonna understand them. You know, same thing with Captain Ginyu when he swapped, switched wise with Goku. He didn't really understand how to use the body. Cell has his own body. It just so happens that he has powers from everybody else. Uh, Austin Baker Carnley writes: Since U7 has two Supreme Kai's, does that mean it should have two Gods of Destruction? And there's another question right below it, where he or somebody else asks. If there is a God destruction for every Supreme Kai, wouldn't that mean that Universe 7 has two Gods of destruction because both Elder Kai and Shin are Supreme Kai's? Oh, okay. Um, I answered this question a while back, but we have a lot of new subscribers. I mean, I may have answered that like two years ago, but the way it works is that there are multiple Supreme Kai's. Uh, in Dragon Ball Super, though, we only see one per universe. But if you look at Dragon Ball's lore and Dragon Ball Z, we know for certain that there were at least five in Universe 7 and that Majin Buu killed the majority of them. Uh, and of course, Elder Kai is an older Kai. Toriyama expounds upon this when he talks about the Shinjin tree. If you want more information on that, you got to check out my video I did on the Makayo Shin where I talk about the Shinjin tree. Um, no, there are multiple gods of destruction, but it's implied or at least explained there's only one... I'm sorry, there are multiple Supreme Kais, but there's only one God of Destruction per universe. That's just the rules that they've set in place. Uh, and one angel. Um, un until they reveal otherwise, I'm fairly certain that no, there's no other God of Destruction in, in these universes. Just just the one. And really, some have asked, okay, why, are there, why is there one God of Destruction and multiple Supreme Kais? Because it's easier for that entity to destroy than it is for them to create. And that's why he's so powerful. Do you think Gohan could have gotten his big moment in the Tournament of Power against Topo and potentially Jiren? Well, that's what I wanted. I mean, that's what I personally wanted. It's up to you to write or think about what you want. Um, but yes, I think Gohan getting his moment against Topo, I feel would have been maybe a bit more satisfactory than Vegeta doing it. I like the Vegeta moment a lot, but I feel like Gohan got the shaft in this arc. Uh, that's the way I feel. Um, Me Sean Ware says... If there was any way for you to make other Z fighters non Saiyans, how would you go about it? There's nothing left for Yamcha but Piccolo and maybe even Tien still have the chance to become relevant again. I guess he means relevant. Well, like I've said before, with Ultra Instinct, it changes things because you don't have to be a Saiyan or a God of Destruction to learn Ultra Instinct, to learn Megate no Gokui. Right? So, uh, I think if these characters can learn even the Omen version, they could become relevant again. I'm not saying they should. I'm saying that's the easiest way, you know, because you don't have to be a specific race to use that power.
just learn how to do it by training with gods and training with yourself. Who do you think will win a tag team fight between Golden Grade A Baby Vegeta and Goku Black versus SS GSS Goku and SS Rage Trunks? Um, well, that's a okay. Golden Grade A Baby Vegeta is powerful, but pretty much nobody in GT can screw around with SS GSS Goku uh, or Rage Trunks. The the power scale is is I know some people don't like that, but it's just you just scale it how the way it is based on how Goku and Beerus fall, and it changes things. Uh, that being said, what you're now what we're seeing here is Goku Black versus SSGSS Goku and SS Rage Trunks, which we saw in the anime. You know, so um, it just depends on what time, like what what time, which Goku Black we're talking about here, like when Zamasu first got the body, or later on. So you have to watch Super to really get an answer on that one. But I don't think Golden Grade Baby Vegeta would be any kind of factor. Excuse me for one second. <coughs> All right. What do you think of Chris Sabat as Yamcha? Obviously, people know him more for Vegeta Piccolo, um, but I think he's pretty damn funny as Yamcha uh, from Ryan Greenberg. Yeah, he's fine. He, I can't complain. I like it. <coughs> Any new school rappers do you like or listen to? I haven't really been into rap since, man, 2012. And I was a huge hip-hop head. I was massively into it. Unfortunately, there's really nobody now that I've gravitated to. Like, I like some of Logic stuff. People seem to love that guy. Uh, I like a little bit of Kendrick Lamar. Um, I like J. Cole. I don't know if he counts as new school or whatever. But uh, And I used to like Drake a lot, but not anymore. So I, I guess that kind of counts. I used to be really into it. Is P stored in the balls? Curb pop star. Uh, no. Do you think Genjutsu would work on DB characters? Who's your favorite character in Shinado Shippuden? Um, I haven't gotten to Naruto Shippuden yet. I'm still on Naruto, so I can't answer that question. I don't even know what Genjutsu is, uh, Ali. That's a question for Swag Kage. So hit up Swag Kage on Twitter and ask him that. He would give you an answer easily. Um, uh, what would you would you do a video on the Dragon Ball world in the Star Trek universe and on the flip side Star Trek Starfleet as a model for the for the Galactic Patrol? Excuse me. Um, I have thought about doing stuff like that. I love Star Trek. I wouldn't consider myself an expert by any means, but I do love Star Trek, and I, I will say that I don't think the Galactic Patrol was necessarily influenced by Star Trek, even though we know that Toriyama is aware of Star Trek. I think the Galactic Patrol <coughs> is more like the Green Lantern or the Nova Corps. That's kind of the way I see it. Not, a, not identical, but kind of similar. Top 5 Tournament of Power fights and or moments... Um, I think I've done a video on this. I think I have. Yeah, I've already done a video on this, like the best moments and the worst moments. So that's already been covered on the channel. Look for it. Um, I did top five best, top five worst on Laughing Stock Media. This is more of a statement than, and honestly, I don't remember what I said in that video. This is more of a statement than a question, but I wanted to see what you think of Vegeta becoming king of the universe six Saiyans. If and when they decide to bring, to end Dragon Ball, I think it'd be a great. I think it'd be great to end his ever kind of continuing character arc by having him take his rightful place. Uh, well, that's not. That's the thing. That's not his arc, though. Like you're, you're actually by saying that you are undermining his arc. His character arc in Dragon Ball from Z to Super is the opposite of that. His character arc is that he was prideful of who he was. He felt like he was royalty, but once he had a family. He found happiness in different, you know, in them, right? And and, and he felt belonging in them. He, he felt more belonging with his family and with Kakarot than with his own race. So you doing that is kind of undermining his narrative. You know, you're kind of, him wanting to be the king of Universe 6 is just not Vegeta now. Like Vegeta at the beginning of Z, definitely. Now it, it just doesn't fit. Um, you know, and that's one thing I talk about a lot on here. It's like when, when fans say like, well, why doesn't Goku ever ask about Bardock? Because he doesn't care. Like, we've talked about this before. If you really focus on the series and watch it, especially in Japanese, you'll pick up on these things that, you know, even though you might think a character deserves this or that, the character himself does not care. Like, you know, he doesn't... Goku has no emotional connection to, to Bardock. He doesn't. And um, Vegeta, even though now he certainly has a connection to Kaba, for sure, That's n that cannot be denied... I don't think him becoming the king, I don't think he cares that much. You know, I really don't. 
How do you develop thicker, tougher skin? Uh, how do you not let the little or big stuff get to you or emotions? Well, stuff does get to me. I might not be the right person to ask this question to. Um, you know, um, I, I, I guess over time you meditate, go to therapy. That could help. I mean, things get to me though, bro. I mean, not all the time, but they do. Um, you put yourself in a position to not be bothered by it. Things don't get to me as much as people think they do, though. I think people out there think that, like, sometimes, like, on Twitter, I'll be triggered. And I'm really not. I'm just clowning. I'm really not triggered. You can't read emotion on, online. Um, once in a while, they do, though. Once in a while, they definitely do. <laughs> so, you can't help being human. You notice that the language of the gods on the sub <laughs> of Dragon Ball Super is just English backwards? Andrew Drummond. Sorry if I'm a little, <laughs> if I'm coughing a little bit here, folks. I'm just, I'm not over my bronchitis. Even after the con. Um, yes, everybody noticed that. Uh, it's not English backwards. It's Japanese backwards. Because they're speaking Japanese backwards. Since Frost has seen Golden Frieza, do you think he will try to unlock Golden Frost type transformation? I certainly hope so. It would make sense. And I, th I think I talked about this in a video. Has it come out yet? I think it did come out. The Universe 6 after Dragon Ball Super. Um, I think it makes sense for him to try. For sure. So in DBS, all universes got revived. A lot of people are saying the original six that got erased are bad. Or I think I guess he means. Oh wait, uh, and they might be the new source of bad guys. What? Well, it doesn't matter who or what comes from those universes. Can Zeno just erase them again? Yeah, that's a great question. They would have to come up with some kind of plot line that takes Zeno out of the equation. But you're right. If somebody tries to start some shit, Zeno can just erase them again. There's no question there. It's gonna take some creative writing. Um, from Toriyama. Hey, when are you going to do the My Hero Academia review now that Dragon Ball Super's over? I gotta watch it, yo. I've been so behind on things. Um, I, everybody else started covering My Hero, like MJ, BG, other YouTubers. And I just didn't want to, like, cover ever, something everybody else covering, but I do want to watch it for my own, <coughs> for my own, um, I guess for my, because I want to see it. So, I will watch it, don't get me wrong. I just gotta get time. He says, um, Hey, I'm Jose. My question is, since they took away UI from Goku, doesn't that make Vegeta the strongest warrior? I think so. I think so. I mean, I, I, we're talking about between the between like the regular mortals, not including like the gods. Yeah, I, I do think so. Also, Goku has had the Kaioken multiplier for a while, so if Vegeta Blue can keep up with him, does that mean that Vegeta had a stronger base form? I think Vegeta's always had a stronger base form. I think if you go back to Z, like the Frieza... And the fight, actually, not even that. The fight with Vegeta and Goku. Goku had to use Kaioken to keep up with Vegeta and base. And in later arcs, it's definitely, definitely implied that Vegeta does have a stronger base form. In fact, you know, in Battle of Gods, the movie, they even talk about how much potential he has. And I think a lot of that's rooted in the fact that he's so strong in his base. So, yes, I think you're correct on that. I think Goku's Kaioken gives him the edge, but Go Vegeta does have a stronger base form. Uh, Chandy says, what usually energizes you or helps lift your moods? Um, friends, family, and, I don't know, good times and great memories. Hey, Geek, the longtime fan wanted to ask if, in an alternate timeline, if Goku had mastered Ultra Instinct, would he have been able to beat Goku Black and Zamasu? Um, even if Zamasu is immortal, would, would to see a discussion video reply about this, thanks. Um... Yes, Mastered Ultra Instinct would have raffle stomped Goku Black. That is no questions asked. The immortality of Zamasu, though, it would not have killed him. Because it, it's been implied that, not even implied, stated that, you know, the Super Dragon Ball wishes are pretty strong, dude. And if you wish to be immortal, you can't be beat. The only thing that could beat you is if they blow up the entire multiverse and you're in it, which is what Zeno did. Well, you know, which is kind of like cheating in a way, but it worked. So, no, I think even if Goku was Mastered Ultra Instinct, he could not kill Immortal Zamasu. They'd have to do something else, you know what I mean? Um, power is better than Empire, don't argue with me. All right, I'd love to have you all for dinner sometime, thank you. My partner appreciates your work, and I wanted you to know if you give him a birthday shout-out on April 29th. Well, we're kind of past April 29th, so... I apologize for that. I didn't see this until now. Uh, his name is Demarcus Oatman. So, well, 
happy belated birthday to Demarcus Oatman if you're watching. You know, hopefully you didn't forget about me, but um, yeah, that was a few weeks ago. Escobar Von Doom, that's a cool name. Why didn't Goku get Cell back instead of Frieza? Even though Goku and Frieza are stronger than Cell, he had Cell, Cell had the Cell juniors which are stronger than SSJ Vegeta, which could have wiped a good portion of Attorney. Great question. I mean, that's a, a very valid point. I didn't even think of the fact that he had the Cell Juniors. Um, I think Goku was just thinking, okay, we've got Golden Frieza. He's really powerful. Let's bring him in. That's it. That's that's literally the way I see it. And I wonder if Cell had created the Cell Juniors, if it would have been a violation of the rules. Because they are living organisms. And you can't have a team that's more fighters than the other team. So maybe that wouldn't have worked. Maybe the Grand Priest would have said, no, you can't do that. You can't create Cell Juniors here. Um, but I think it was purely Goku... Just thinking, oh, it's Frieza. Remember how he did it? He was like, oh, yeah, Frieza. Let's go get him. So it, was, it wasn't like he really put that much thought into it. you know. And that's it for this Q&A. Hope you all enjoyed it. I had fun. I always have fun answering these. Um, I do them more frequently. I haven't done them in a while. I did one last week after a year break. But they're fun. I have fun doing them. Uh, thank you so much. Hope you all have a great day. <laughs> Another person asked for my Hero Academia. Love you all. I'll catch you down the road. <laughs> Wacky.